All right, what's up guys? In today's video, we're talking about what is the current best SMG to use right now in Warzone after the most recent nerf of a lot of the top ARs with the fact that they nerfed all the Cold War weapons for the Raider stock. Mobility of the SMGs now is what's gonna make them king. So we're gonna take a look at this, what is the best SMG right now in Warzone. So if you guys learn anything new, this video does help you out. Please make sure you guys leave a like and if you guys are new to the channel, 90% of you guys that watched the video have not subscribed. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button down below. So what we're going to take a look at next is the best class setup for each weapon. I have the chart on the screen just to make it easier because a majority of these weapons for the Cold War guns have the exact same class setup. The Task Force Barrel, Agency Presser, Field Agent, the Biggest Mag, and the Raider Stock is going to be the best overall improvement to your stats as far as your Sprint to Fire, your Stray Speed. For the Cold War MP5, you can try running the Bruiser Grip stack with the 5 mount Laser but your vertical recoil is going to be significantly worse. So obviously Modern Warfare MP5, you guys know. Monolithic Integral, Merc Foregrip, 45 Mag, No Stock, and the Laser stacks together to give you a godly hip fire class setup. The one difference if you're playing quads or trios, you want to take off the No Stock to get a better recoil, and then you slide a hand to get a faster reload. That's the only class that I would recommend. But So we're going to take a look on the screen now. Is the base time to kill and up to what range of each of the guns? What you guys can see on the screen is that of the base range with both mp5 it's only about 11 meters which is going to rank them as a close range smg only with the bullfrog and mac 10 both about 19 meters i'm going to rank them as a good mid level smg the lc10 at 24 meters which is excellent and the ppsh recently got a buff is now 21 meters which is still excellent for an smg so the ppsh and lc10 are be my longer range smgs where you can kind of use them more at a mid fight bullfrog and mag 10 are going to be still good in the close range but still a little bit better beyond 10 meters and the cold war mp5 and the modern warfare mp5 only used in the close range only in buildings only for the hip fire builds because they're not good anywhere beyond 10 meters so where you obviously are going to rank them as i said both mp5s are excellent the one biggest difference i wanted to take a look at this is the base time to kill what I want to take a look at is what the headshots do. As you guys know, the MAC-10 used to be God because it had an insane headshot multiplier, which was recently nerfed. The time to kill on the screen now will reflect with one headshot. The Modern Warfare MP5 is now the fastest killing SMG. And the PPSH and the LC-10, which are now your long-range SMGs, are now the third fastest killing gun behind both the MP5. So with one headshot, which is pretty practical for both the PPSH and LC-10, and the modern for mp5 you're clearly very close the headshots can be easier to hit this is a very practical time to kill for me this is where the model for mp5 is 100 percent the best close range smg in my opinion you should start using which was obviously the meta gun previously before cold war the lc10 now having the third fastest time to kill is why this is a god gun has a very high headshot damage has the best accuracy and the best range which it does a lot of everything that's good what I wanted to take a look at was the actual damage per mag though because this is where the MAC-10 is not getting as much love as it should. They all have a similar ammo count, but the overall damage you're doing to the chest and stomach of each gun is significantly different and the MAC-10 completely slacks, which you guys can see the chart on the screen. So I have their range, their damage per mag, and then obviously how much ammo they have. So with the LC-10, it has a very good damage but has the most ammo and the most range so we're able to do 1650 damage from zero meters all the way to 24 meters which all the other five guns will have dropped off and are now doing less damage than the lc10 which is another reason why i think it's the best smg the next thing to take a look at is going to be how many headshots it takes to lower the time to kill of the other weapons because as i said with one headshot the lc10 ppsh and mono for mp5 are lowered the Bullfrog was recently nerfed, as I said, is now two headshots. Previously was one, which is what balanced the weapon now. The Cold War MP5 also only takes two headshots. The big, big gun on the negative here is the MAC-10 is obviously three headshots. So the biggest difference, though, with the LC-10, if you get three headshots, you will lower the time to kill. So time to kill drops with one and three, which is what makes the gun excellent. The three headshot TTK is now the fastest killing SMG in the game, which is another thing to add to its resume of what makes it excellent. So time to kill category, the LC-10 is not the best, 
because it does kill the slowest, but it has the most range. So it can hold that time to kill out to the longest. And then, like I said, with one headshot, it lowers it. So I think the LC-10 is a top tier SMG, easily in the top three, just due to practicality of range, time to kill, and headshot multipliers. The Mono for MP5 is easily gonna be the king and probably gonna be my go-to SMG moving forward into the seasons. Uh, with this gun having the no stock, the Merc, and the 5 mount laser, the hip fire is basically, you're never gonna miss. So this is gonna be my go-to SMG. I think those are the top two SMGs right now based on time to kill alone. The Cold War MP5 is pretty good. With two headshots, time to kill is gonna be godly, but the odds of actually hitting your enemy with the hip fire is not as good, and then the recoil is the worst, which we're gonna take a look at right now, but as far as time to kill, I think the Bullfrog is definitely a sleeper. The MAC-10 is also excellent, but this to me kind of proved that the LC-10 is in a class of its own because all it takes is one headshot or three headshots with the most accro weapon and the best range to get an excellent time to kill, which is a god gun. But the Modern for MP5 definitely showcased itself here. So we're going to take a look next is the hip fire and overall recoil to show you guys what is the best gun right now in Warzone. One of them I want to take a look at first was the overall recoil pattern because this is where I think there's a huge discrepancy as far as what makes each gun good. We're going to take a look at the vertical recoil and the hip fire to showcase the biggest difference between these guns in that category. So what you guys will be able to see on the screen, the recoil pattern of all four SMGs. This is from about 10 meters. You guys will be able to see the vertical recoil is about the same for all of the Cold War weapons. The biggest discrepancy is going to be the LC-10. The stabilization as far as left to right in the vertical recoil is uh, significantly better than all of the weapons. And that is what makes this in a class of its own in my opinion. When you take a look just at the vertical recoil pattern alone, it's 100% better than the other five guns. And that is why it is one of the most popular weapons right now. It's the ease of use as far as it has the best range and the best accuracy is why a lot of players are using it. As far as the next thing we're going to take a look at is going to be the Modern Warfare MP5, which you guys can see on the far left. It has half the recoil pattern of all the other guns. The recoil pattern is not the most stable as far as your you know, consistency and the accuracy, but this is a close range under 10 meters only weapon. So I would rank the LC-10 clearly in a class of its own in recoil. The Modern Warfare MP5 is easily going to be a close second because all you have to do is pull down a little bit on your mouse or your thumbstick and the gun will now have no recoil since it doesn't even kick up much at all. The biggest fact you guys will see with the Cold War MP5, this was with the Bruiser Grip. With the Field Agent, you're going to get a little bit better recoil. I tried the Bruiser Grip just to get improved movement speed and hip fire to help give the best close range gun. But that is the biggest reason the Cold War MP5 is not as popular. Uh, the MAC-10 is purely vertical, doesn't pull left or pull right, which is why I think it's also a top tier weapon because the accuracy is pretty good. Uh, the Bullfrog is obviously in that top rank as well due to the fact that the stabilization is incredible. It doesn't have the best aiming stability, which is a huge negative as far as when you're aiming at someone, your stuff just like spins in straight circles. But the PPSH, in my opinion, is in the bottom. Definitely still accurate because it does uh, pull up into the right, which is completely normal. But I think all these guns are incredibly accurate. But the LC-10 is in a class of its own, and the Cold War MP5 is in the clear bottom, bottom tier. So what you guys will see next on the screen is going to be the overall hit fire of all these weapons. So clearly you guys can see the names of the Modern Warfare MP5 in the top left. Uh, the circle is about a quarter of the size of the Cold War MP5, even though they're built the exact same way. That is because you have the Merc foregrip, the no stock, and the 5 mount laser, which gives you, I think, like a 71% increase to your hip fire. So clearly the Mono for MP5 is going to be king. As far as the Cold MP5 is definitely pretty good, but to have the worst vertical recoil and then comparing it to the other hipfire god, the MP5, uh, it just doesn't stack up. So as far as when you take a look at the stats, as far as accuracy, the Cold MP5, in my opinion, is the absolute worst. The biggest difference you'll see is when you take a look at the middle, the PPSH and the Bullfrog, and take a look at the far right. As I said, all these class ups are built the exact same way, so they have the, neg the same negative in hipfire. The LC-10 is the clear worst, so this is definitely not a gun you ever want to hit fire. It's going to be pretty hard to hit your shots. The MAC-10 was a bottom fifth ranked, and the Bullfrog was actually pretty good. 
I think the Bullfrog was slightly better than the PPSH. Uh, they have the same like five bullet difference in the mags, but you can see the 50 round mag of the Bullfrog had significantly better hip fire, almost as good as the Cold War MP5, which had two hip fire attachments. And that is what makes the Bullfrog really good in my opinion, because we're gonna be comparing these guns from zero to 10 meters, from 10 to 20, and then 20 plus meters, determining what is the best close range the best mid-range and the best long-range SMG. So wrapping up the video to basically give my personal recommendation, uh, if I had to choose two guns or three guns as the best in each category, as I said, the best close range S easily the Modern Warfare MP5. If you take off the sleight of hand and run the no stock, the movement speed's excellent, mobility is excellent. It's just really good and the hip fire with these three attachments stacked together is godly. So the best close range SMG, if you're the most aggressive player, 100% gonna be the Modern Warfare MP5. As far as the Bullfrog and PPSH, I think they're good, but I think they are both a little bit worse than the other guns that are better, which is gonna be the LC-10 and the MAC-10. As far as for the mid range, if you're a player like myself who's not the most aggressive, I play solos or duos, the MAC-10 is definitely gonna be king in my opinion. If you switch off a couple of these attachments, if you take off the grip and you run like a Tiger Team Spotlight or Mounted Flashlight, with the stray speed and the movement speed of this class setup, no SMG is gonna be able to compete with it. Mobility wise, this gun is godly. It has excellent range and good recoil. It does basically everything well. The one thing it does that no other gun can do is in that mobility category, which is what makes it excellent. So I think the MAC-10, is still gonna be my go-to weapon. It's just really easy to use, similar to the Kilo. Just has really, really good stats that are on a league of its own. And it's just ease of use is at the top. But the LC-10 right now, in my opinion, would be the best SMG right now. The one headshot TTK is godly. All it takes is one headshot to get a top tier time to kill. And then the range is also the best. The mobility is not the best, but as far as your damage, fire rate, all those things, it's just really, really good and extremely easy to use and the accuracy is in a class of its own compared to all the other SMGs. No SMG competes in the accuracy category. And for those of you guys that are looking for the best SMG for you, I think this is it. Just gotta make sure you get those headshots if you wanna be able to outgun those MAC-10 and Bullfrog users. But basically wrapping it up, I think the LC-10 is definitely top tier for sure. The MAC-10 is still and always gonna be top tier just due to mobility and the Modern Warfare MP5 is definitely still in the top tier. With the nerf of the Bullfrog, they nerfed the headshot damage, which completely tanked it. Now it takes two headshots. They do improve the range a little bit, I think. But overall, with the nerf of the Raider stock, I think that's where the Modern Warfare MP5 is gonna be still in the top three SMGs, is because with the no stock, it does improve your straight speed. So your straight speed is still excellent and your overall accuracy is still excellent. So I would personally rank the MAC-10 is my favorite. The LC-10 is easily top two, and the Modern 4 MP5 is still top three SMG. So like I said, if you guys learned anything new in the video, please make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and have not subscribed yet. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you.